I'm leaving the house in this state, we've got DIYs all around. It's such a mess too, but nothing's gonna stop me from thrifting day. I'm dressed up for the occasion and I can't wait to get into it. So let's head on in. Guys, last time I went thrifting was in Canada. It's been so freaking long. So hey Siri, take me to red, white, and blue thrift store. Well, hey babes, what is up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. You guys know that I am a thrifter who constantly loves going to the thrift store with inspiration. So every time I go thrifting, I try to take you guys along with me and trying to thrift different aesthetics. That being said, for today's video, we are gonna be thrifting for dark academia. And I'm gonna be honest, so many of you guys have requested this and I had to go to Google to actually search what this is. Dark academia fashion is a style that combines the preppy and the gothic elements, I guess, but I don't really think gothic, I think more dark elements. So the darker tone colors, a color palette of black, white, beige, brown, dark green, navy blue, everything super earthy and very full time right now. This is basically a style that emulates everything academic. So you have so many blazers, cardigans, dress shirts, pleated skirts, tailored trousers, and of course, sweater vests. I think my obsession with thrifting sweater vests is exactly what led you guys to recommend me to try this aesthetic, and I'm so inspired. This is how I'm characterizing it. It's basically like a gossip girl for when they all had a school uniform, but with like a Harry Potter vibe. So Harry Potter colors like the dark reds, the dark browns, the navy, green, everything moody and vibey for the season. So get your inspiration caps on. I'm gonna take you in thrifting with me as we go and hunt for these characteristics. And of course, then I'm gonna take you on home and style these outfits too. And I also want to thank Organic Basics for sponsoring today's video. So with that being said, come on and thrift with me for dark academia style. Let's go. Well, you guys, we've made it and it's been so long since I've been at this thrift store, but we're definitely gonna get back into the purses later because accessories is a huge aspect of this aesthetic. So the reason that this video is actually slightly out of my comfort zone is because I'm actually someone who always shops light colored items like white, beige, and neutrals. This video is hopefully really gonna help me lean into some of those darker colors. I think I'm actually gonna look through the black for the first time. Instead of starting with the tops, I wanna start off with the bottoms, specifically the skirt section, because of course, when it comes to the academia, right away, I think like preppy. When I think of preppy, I think short Shorter skirts, skater skirts, plaid skirts, anything like that. So we've got the long skirts on this side, shorter skirts on the other. I'm gonna keep in mind the color tones I'm looking for and some of these designs too, like plaid and gingham, houndstooth, anything that feels kind of preppy, I want it. The one thing that I did notice also is that a lot of these outfits seem very like high class, more sophisticated, even old money style. So you wouldn't necessarily see a lot of like ripped denim or anything like that. You want things that look more polished and nice. So if you are to go for a denim skirt, I would opt for one that has more of a clean cut, just like this one. This is actually a we the free skirt and it looks like it's in my size it's got that slit down the middle and it's just a nice seamless black for sure trying it oh my gosh i've been wanting to try a maxi skirt like this for the longest time and this is the perfect opportunity looks like it's gonna sit super high-waisted and i love the navy with like the slight deep green that it has only 3.99 too that is such a win this is a similar pattern as to what i'm looking for but i noticed the length i'm always trying to find something that goes above my knees and shorter or under my knees something that hits you right at the knee is not usually the the most flattering for me. And as much as a dark academia style usually falls in line with very solid colors, I still want to play around with just darker tones in general. This skirt over here could look so pretty and I love the little floral print pattern. With a darker top, it can definitely go with this vibe. All right, and now onto the shorter skirts. Something else to keep in mind here is the material composition of the actual skirts. For some reason, dark academia is kind of associated with like wealth and luxury. I think that's why with so many of the clothes, I'm on the lookout for high quality materials like wool or linen, even corduroy too. I think this skirt is so cute. It has a bit of that suede trim, which I love. Okay, so let me give you guys a little bit of advice when it comes to pleated skirts, okay? This is definitely a huge trend within the aesthetic, and you can see I found so many different ones here. But if you are somebody that is looking for a really good pleated skirt, a great way to see if it's a high-quality one is seeing that the seams actually match up. You see how over here, you can see that the grid patterns don't come together? That is an indication that it's a cheap made versus a skirt like this where you can actually see that the grids all line up together, and it just looks like it's been made much better. I actually really love the style of this one. If it was a little bit longer and darker, I would have picked it up. But personally, when it comes to pleated skirts, when I wear them, I just feel like I'm trying to be a schoolgirl. I'm not so into it. What I would recommend instead is to try to find a skirt that is more of an A-line style, yet it can still have a plaid pattern. Here's an example. This will still give you that preppy style without having to go hardcore schoolgirl. When it comes to bottoms, a style of pant is obviously a trouser. Something like this is so elevated and elegant, very studious too. And a pattern that I personally really like to look for is 
pinstripe. This one right here I actually love because it looks more like a sweatpants style, but it has a straight leg bottom. I love it when an elevated pant is also comfortable, so trying this for sure. And then you've also got this one, which is definitely a more tailored version. Very law school-esque. Black bottoms do scare me a little. I much prefer to lean more into like the brown tones. So many of these are so nice. And this one right here actually feels like wool. No freaking way. It, it is a Babaton pair of trousers. They are stunning. They're a bit of a shorter length, which I don't mind. I feel like those look so much better with shorter shoes than loafers. Size six, perfect. And look at the neutral tone. Couldn't have found a better pant for this. I also found myself lately wanting to dabble a lot more into navy as well. These ones right here are just so flowy and look like they'd be so comfortable. They've got a subtle pinstripe too and they are not too long. So into the cart you go. And speaking of navy, oh my gosh, the sweater knit material of these bottoms just captured my eyes. I don't think they are my size, but they just look so cozy. I really want to try them on because this is such a great way to wear a pant casually, but still very academic. Well, all right, major pat on the back for us. I feel like we scored some amazing bottoms. Now let me try to find some tops to like go with them in outfits. Here specifically, we are gonna be looking for sweater vests, cardigans and knits, turtlenecks, anything we can like layer underneath shorter sleeve shirts, that would work. And I'm also not shying away from colors. So dark green, navy blue, I'm hitting it all. Ooh, you guys, I forgot to mention red, burgundy. Definitely one of the colors that I still correlate within dark academia. This top right here for $2.99, I love the fact that it has a high neck because I can layer it underneath something or even like under a jacket to have a peep of that rich burgundy under i love we finally made our way over to the long sleeves and for me this is where all the fun begins for the first time ever i actually see myself going through the black and this is why i'm actually glad that i checked because right over here i actually found it looks like a blazer kind of in a suede material but i absolutely love the shape of it and it reminds me so much of these photos i really wanted something that was a blazer but not too much of a stiff material 3.99 too even layered with that burgundy top underneath i love that a black turtleneck is such a staple this one is from the brand brooks brothers it's a real stretchy material and it's a little bit thicker than the one I already own. Slowly moving into the light area. I don't know you guys, there's just something about these little cardigans, especially from like Hollister, that I just find very, very, very cute and preppy with like a turtleneck layered underneath. That's such a good basic. And then we've got this knit. How cute. I love the little bow detail here. The color is absolutely perfect too. It is a more fitted piece, so maybe with a looser pair of bottoms. And then this jacket right here has the hook and eye closure going all the way down. It's a suede material too, definitely more lightweight, which is pretty appropriate for Florida weather. Wow, have you guys ever seen my cart with this many dark tones? This is so new to me, but honestly, I'm not mad about it. These themed thrift trips truly make me always try out things that are so out of my comfort zone that usually I wouldn't pick up, but then when I try it, I end up loving it. I'm sure I'm not the only one who usually sticks to a color palette whenever I'm shopping, which honestly makes me really, really curious. You guys can see these two aesthetics over here. We have light academia and dark academia. Without seeing me actually style any of my outfits right now, which of these two appeal more to you? The light side or the dark side? Comment down below because I'm so curious to know which aesthetic aligns more with you. It's so frustrating how I'm finding so many pieces that have the potential to be cute, but then something throws it off. And here is a really good example. I absolutely loved the striped sweater over here. The brown buttons I thought were so cute too. And then, uh, uh, uh. Ah, uh, why? Like this could have been such a nice basic if only it didn't end in a rainbow sleeve. And then same with over here, this knit, I absolutely love the pattern of it. It's so thick and nice too, but somebody decided to go and like add some gold paint on it. No idea why. This could have been such a good potential contender, but luckily I was able to find another one right over here. It is a size large when I'm usually like a smaller or medium, but this does kind of feel like it could be a cozy blanket on. I love the design too and the dark green green pattern. So I think I'm going to try it. Ugh, this had the potential to be something so cute, but then the buttons look super cheap and yep, Fashion Nova. That's why. This is just a sign, you guys. I am laughing at myself. Remember how I told you we're going for the whole Harry Potter vibe? Well, the sorting hat is here to declare that this is a good thrift trip so far. <laughs> And the dresses. When it comes to dresses, what's gonna make these dresses pop and feel very much inspired by this aesthetic is the patterns you're gonna look for. So here's just a couple of examples. Anything with grid, plaid, houndstooth. I specifically even wanna find something with a short sleeve that I can layer a turtleneck under. And of course, a focus on darker colors for sure. Oh my gosh, guys, this dress is so freaking precious. It's got a navy check print, a little bit of detail on the sleeves, and the skirt, it's an A-line skirt, which would look so good with stockings and even loafers. You can make this into such a preppy look little fit. I can't wait to put something together with that. Oh guys, my cart is filling up quick. I think I'm going to go ahead and try some on. I feel really confident that we're taking a good amount home. So let me try and see. No, really, 
my ultimate goal is to find a pair of knit pants that are tailored just like this but actually fit me because these are the most comfy things I've ever put on. Guys, the Babaton bottoms. I thought they were my size but I put them on and they're just too tight. Like honestly, they kind of look like plaid leggings which I'm not really into. But the pattern of these are so nice. I'm gonna leave them behind for another one to find and she will definitely appreciate it. Oh my God, the maxi skirt, the maxi skirt. I can't wait to show it to you. No, you guys don't understand how happy I am with the pieces that I got. Now it's just up to the accessories to really bring it home. I thought that we would start off in the handbag section and I just passed by. Off the corner of my eye, I already saw something. I saw two somethings actually. Beaded bags have been my obsession. Here is the first one that I found. Oh my god, it is stunning. $14.99 is not bad considering how freaking beautiful this is. There's something just so classy and elegant about a pearl bag. And then this beauty. Guys, this is so similar to the cottagecore bag that I thrifted on my trip in the past. The problem with that bag is that it was always so small for me to actually put my phone in. And this one is a bigger size. It is so freaking stunning i love the flower details too oh my god like honestly that that's already good enough i'm still gonna look at more bags but like that's already good i always find myself gravitating more towards brown bags over black and i see this suede peeking through with this buckle detail how absolutely gorgeous is this bag it's even got the gold details it looks like there's a bit of like nail polish or something on there but that can easily be removed and i already personally found my perfect gucci loafers both in brown and in black on one of my past thrift trips so i'm for sure gonna be styling those do i personally need more boots definitely not i already have my faves but anything that has like a tall riding boot like that would work and i personally also really like the square toe style i feel like they're very sophisticated well bears we've made it back and i need to tell you that i am shocked shocked to my very core at how much i fell in love shopping for this aesthetic i'm telling you thrifting dark colors thrifting black is so out of my comfort zone so this excitement over this entire color scheme of clothes is so new to me and in this haul you're gonna see a ton of neutral items just like this different things i'm gonna style like cardigans and sweaters sweatpants a sweater set like this that is so cozy can be styled up or down is so practical i'm gonna include this set in a couple of the outfits too which is actually from organic basics organic basics is my go-to place for everyday essentials they have underwear loungewear activewear too but they're a brand that we can love because they are supporting our environment everything they produce is carbon neutral and ethically made with organic recycled and eco-friendly materials if you want to achieve the dark academia style it is so important to layer so i got myself so many amazing basics and underwear just like this that i could use to layer my outfits and the best little underwear sets that are so cozy and basically undetectable underneath your clothes they're tank tops or singlets i have them in multiple colors they're so perfect to go underneath sweaters i'm even wearing their core rib line right now underneath this they're so comfortable on and you can't even see them which is obviously what i want in an underwear you're gonna love seeing how i style these pieces along with the thrifted ones i'm gonna leave a link down below to organic basics where you guys can shop your perfect essentials their black friday deal they have up to 60 percent off on their website and if you actually use my link you could get an extra five percent off with the growth of fast fashion organic basics is a brand that does everything ethically they're going to be partnering with the or foundation for black friday and donating one percent of every single purchase towards tackling textile waste so while shopping their brand you know you're getting yourself some cute new items while also doing good for the world too. With all that, you guys, I have my fashion inspo ready and I cannot wait to get into styling these. So let's head into the first look. First thing I wanted to style was this dress and, and as much as this could look super cute on its own for the summer, we are trying to make it a little bit more winter appropriate. I'm wearing the core triangle bra and layered on top of it, I have the core mock neck. You see this collar right here? It makes the biggest difference when styling this dress. And with this long sleeve under, it's such a great way to make this dress a little bit more fall appropriate. Speaking of fall, I have not pulled out these bad boys in so long. These are my little heeled boots that just go so high up, almost up to my knees. In the fall, I love showing this little bit of leg right here when I'm wearing skirts and dresses. This is so freaking adorable. Okay, okay, the dress I got for just $9.99. Okay, I had to pull out one of like my only hardcover books for this. Come on, do you guys see it? Even though as much as the books are cute these days, let's be real, I'm always using my Kindle. To make it even more fall-esque, I'm gonna add in one of my thrifted leather jackets. This black one I've been so excited to wear with a dress like this and oh yes. If you are going for a dark color palette outfit like this, play around with your textures and your layers. Like I said, the white layered shirt underneath helps a lot and so does the grid pattern of the dress. It's kind of like a breakup even though the dress is dark and so is the jacket. It does add a lot of visual interest to your look so, so that it's not just one solid dark outfit. All right, I think we're nailing this so far and this is just outfit one. You know what guys? I am embracing in this surf trip trying new things. I mean, a maxi skirt, who is she? I'm wearing loafers too and an overall like dark outfit 
like this is not something I would have pulled in the past, but I have to say I am really, really into this. This is honestly such a modest fit too, but genuinely I feel like it goes so well with this whole academia vibe. I actually find this outfit is so adorable. The cardigan definitely pulls it together. And I know the skirt can be a little out there, but as you know from my past videos, I've been trying to dabble in maxi skirts lately and I'm actually kind of really into this. And I got the skirt for just $3.99. I mean, that is such a steal. This is how I give schoolgirl but sophisticated schoolgirl. One that is on the honor roll, studies hard, and takes her education seriously while still looking cute doing it. Something else I learned with this academia trend, it is the power of a headband. No, really, it does so much by doing so little. But for the next look, we are thrifting bottoms, a trouser specifically, because I know, how can I do an academia outfit without doing some trousers, your, your basic academic college student trouser? I found the most perfect comfortable ones for $7.99. These right here are actually navy blue and they've got some subtle pinstripes on them. I don't even know if you could see that, but I love the fit of these because of course they're high-waisted, which is my favorite rise when it comes to bottoms. What else can you really wear with trousers except for loafers, you feel me? I mean, if you do have another idea, let me know below, but I'm just gonna top it off with a brown leather jacket because truly in so many of these photos, a leather jacket I noticed is a staple. And a brown and a black are the two that you're definitely gonna want in your wardrobe. This is actually really cute. I was scared to style trousers because they're so formal, but I think pairing it with a sweater like this true knit one from Organic Basics, it's just such a perfect baggier fit, which is what makes it more of a casual outfit while still being comfortable too. Also, if I haven't convinced you guys already to get this undershirt, it just makes every outfit look so much better. I wanna go back and get it in every single color. And of course, I had to show you guys that just because you're leaning dark academia, it doesn't mean you should shy away from colors. Burgundy specifically is a color you're definitely gonna wanna thrift, and it is so popular for the season right now too. But look at this outfit that I was able to put together. Honestly, a match made in heaven. But first, let me tell you guys, I got this skirt, which has the daintiest little floral detail on it, and it's um an accordion style, so it's super stretchy and flowy, which I love. Got this for just a $5.99, and I paired it together with this higher neck t-shirt top that I got for just $2.99. Of course, on its own, this is already a really cute outfit, but because we are leaning more into the fall, I'm gonna go ahead and pair a black sweater on top. I'm still gonna be using that trick of a layering, because even though the sweater does cover up a lot, you could still see my neck with a bit of that red peeping through. And my ultimate hack when it comes to sweaters, do the bra tuck. So I'm taking the edge of the sweater and I'm tucking it right into my core triangle bra from Organic Basics. The band is super strong, so it holds it really well. And now because you can see more of the skirt up top, I feel like it's definitely more flattering and elongating. One final little detail, let's add the bow accessory. I'm telling you, it's really the little things that do so much. But I have to show you the two pearl bags that we picked up because how stinking beautiful. I told you guys that this is one that I thrifted in the past that I was in love with, but I always found it to be too small, didn't even fit my phone. So now I have a bigger upgraded version, which, which is so perfect for like a date night or if I'm going somewhere that I need to carry more things. They took off the tag, but I'm pretty sure that this one was a $24.99, a little bit pricier, but I mean, come on, with the details of this, I definitely think that it's worth it. And then this second pearl bag works really well as a breakup with this outfit too. I just love the details on here. They're so precious. And this one was just $14.99. And here's a tip, if you are someone who has a hardcore dark outfit underneath, try pairing it with some lighter accessories like a purse or a hair accessory. It really helps to balance it out and results in a really cute outfit. But what do you guys think? And of course, you guys know me without fail. Can Haley ever style an outfit without doing a skirt and boots combo? Luckily, the dark academia aesthetic, there's actually a ton of inspiration pictures that do this exactly. Because the plaid skirts are so hardcore within this trend, if you do style it with boots, you make it more fall appropriate. But the item that I thrifted on this trip was this adorable little top. I'm telling you, it was this bow detail. This is what gave it away. This is what was like, Haley, you gotta take it. And I'm so glad that I did because this is the cutest little detail that makes it so feminine. We got this top for just a $4.99. And yeah, I think this bag actually works really well in this case, definitely. 50 shades of brown, I'm here for it. Without fail, if you want a really cute academia style, go for the plaid skirt matched with a knit and high boots. A really easy combo to put together. And my trick is always try to choose your top correlating with one of the colors in the skirt. Because I actually have this like caramel color going on throughout the lines. It's what ties the shirt in so well that it looks really seamless when it's put together. Also $7.99 for a genuine suede leather bag. Can we take a moment? The hardware on this is amazing, but you ain't seen nothing yet. It's got these snap closures here. So you could turn a handbag into 
a shoulder bag, but how flippin' cool. This is such a great way to make a bag more versatile depending on your outfit. One of my favorite finds today by far. Were you just as inspired by the dark academia aesthetic as I am? I feel like for this time of year, it is perfect. We are easing into the colder months, so these outfits are all such a perfect way to show you that you can incorporate dark outfits while still keeping them cute and girly for sure. I always had it in my head that I want more feminine fits. They have to be lighter, but this video definitely proved me wrong. If you guys are watching up to this point, you know that you're the real MVP. I love the ones who stick around all the way till the end. If you are watching up to this point, I want you to comment down below moody vibes because honestly, with every single one of these fits, that is exactly what is emanating. Moody vintage library study session. I don't even know. I make up these aesthetics in my mind. Just, just go along with it, okay? And I know I didn't show you any of my underwear on, but is that a surprise? Haley's trying to be a little bit more modest on here, but please believe me when I say how much I love my organic basics underwear and even basic essentials too. Ever kind of style underwear you like, they've got it in so many different fabrics and materials so you could choose whatever is benefit to you. They've got bralettes, high coverage bras, low coverage bras too. Push up also for the few girlies that do want it. All in so many adorable shades that you're gonna wanna wear over and over again. I'm gonna leave a link to Organic Basics down below where you can get 5% off. Additionally, everything that's discounted on the site already and they have up to 60% off going on right now for Black Friday so you could really score yourself a lot of these pieces at incredible deals. But with all that, Studious Haley is now ready to go check out another book at the library. I'm gonna be real, I don't remember the last time I was at a library. Maybe I'll just settle for a new download on my Kindle. Comment down below what aesthetic you want me to thrift for next and maybe the next video can be based on your suggestion because this one was. But I love you all forever and always. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next one.